can just start limiting. This call is now being recorded. Mm. Later on, people can still join because now we don't have time. Please, let's just start the Dimitri. Since you already said that you, you, you recorded Dimitri so that people will later and later get access to the recording. Okay, so I think it's it's recording now. It's recording already. Uh, it's recording already. Already recording. Oh, I don't want to mention. Um, I want to officially welcome everyone of it to the orientation for the data analysis course, the National Open University Easter um, Directorate. So my name is Velvet Spani. Um, I will be the I'm the coordinator for this program from the start to the end. All right. So I want to officially welcome you guys um, to this um, orientation because of um, what we intend to achieve. So I'm going to be, I'm sure you guys, all of you have the orientation agenda. So I'll be, I'll be working through that part of the orientation agenda so that we can all um, make sure everything works fine. All right, so this is our National Open University Data Analysis course. All right, please, can you, can you please mute your mic if you're not talking? Uh, please, everybody mute your mic. And also mute your you can put off your video all right you can also put up your video so that um the kind of the the strength for the network will also be good for you all right so uh, this is the data analysis course from the national Open university all right so what we this is going to be a, a three months course all right starting from monday so it's going to be a three months um, uh, data analysis course first of all the course is going to be um um, Anaconda Jupiter. So it's uh, more like a Python course. So data analysis has to do with Python. All right. So some of you may be thinking about you don't know how to code and all of that, right? But it's all good because the system, um, the course is was actually built or designed in a way that is going to um, carry you along, even if you have no idea of how what Python means and how or how to go around data analysis using Python, all right? The course is a beginner's course. So it's gonna take from the beginners to the advanced level so that you would be able to quit uh, do your um, do your analysis in different ways or uh, using your uh, your Python uh, programming language, all right? So first of all, Python is not gonna be the, the largest or the most um, trustworthy tool for doing your data analysis, all right? So uh, most companies actually make use of Python for their analysis, all right? So that's what uh, we, that's why we actually teaching you guys the Python. It's not gonna be difficult, all right? So now this is a course, um, a three months course, like I said. Now the courses are gonna be breaking down into different modules. Now these modules are more like, um, we'll be dropping courses for you guys every, every uh, two weeks. So we have five modules for the course. Now each of these five modules have its own new thing that you've learned. So it's taking you guys from one part to the next part. So we are taking you guys from one piece to another piece, right? Now, this particular uh, module will be dropped for you. And you guys are you're going to upload all the videos that you need because it's a pre-recorded video, not a live session. Now we took off the live session ability because of the network for Christian and all of that to make sure that our students are able to get everything that they are learning one of the system. So we've actually uh, made those courses in their videos so that you can always watch and go back to rewatch them and again, right? So we've done all of that to make sure that you are able to go through the system through the course without hiccup. So if there's any data of confusion, you can still go back and watch the videos, right? So the videos will be dropped for every one of you. Um, the first module will be dropped. When the first module is dropped, all the videos, all the course content will be added. So you will get to see the course contents for every of the different modules. You'll see the course type of the title of the module, but then the video that will be open for you would be that of the um, of the module that you would have access to, which is the first module. So for the first two weeks, you all will learn the first module. Now the reason why we took it for two weeks is because of it is actually a program, it's actually a self-paced course. I will believe that we have people that are currently working, we have to train our students, right? And these are the first things we don't have that right, that particular time to to uh, to watch uh, to assess the live session. So we made it easy 
for every one of us to take our time to learn because it's data analysis you have to be you have to be um, very calm and you have to go through the, the, the data analysis little by little so <laughs> let me um, explain you and let me see how i can do this Okay, so I hope you all, I hope you all can hear me. Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Thank you very much. So yeah, we can hear you. All right. So what we what we did is that why we took it for two weeks is because we want everybody to be carried along. All right, because at the end of every course module, we will have a live session like this. Now the life session would have to do with your instructor, right? If you have to do with your instructor, um, tell you maybe going through everything you've learned in the first mode or in the previous module. So that life session would be discussing all what are the challenges that you faced while you were actually going through the course. All right. So we will add all of that in that life session. So your instructor will be there, navigate you all through the previous uh, module, show you guys everything that you have. And that's all you need to know. And then, if you have questions, you will be able to ask questions on that live session. But nevertheless, we would, the online course platform that you would be added to also have. I don't know if you are here. Please, if you are not talking, please mute your mic, please. All right, thank you. So, the I think I can see here somebody's mic. Okay, so now when you will be when you learn the first two weeks, you would have a live session with your instructor. So anytime you have questions, of course, there will be questions because at the first stage you may have a little concern, you don't know about some things, you want to know about some things. So that is where the um the, if your course instructor would come in and it will be able to respond to all your questions right there, show you all how to go through the system and how to go around it. All right. So every two weeks. We will be having our live sessions with the instructor so he will be there he will be the one in charge of the meeting i may not be there with you always but he will be the one in charge of the meeting add you guys to the meeting and you guys will go through the, that particular uh, live session also we would also add up a for at, after every module you will have a an assessment right so you will have an assessment the assessment is a cbt assessment based on what you've learned for that first module right you are going to get assessment at least 10 to 20 those questions just to assess you to know that okay you are good to go it keeps you to practice right it's something that you can re, re attempt but you have to make you know that okay you're good and you're good to and when it comes to the uh when it comes to the to the course or for that particular body you have you are grounded as you know a little uh, what you've learned so just to give us a feedback so we will have um assessment at the end of every module so Either before the live session or after the live session, we would have a, a, a an assessment where you all will come in. Not it's not it's, it must not be a particular day. So the assessment will be open. So anytime you you are done with yours, you can just go in to actually take your assessment, right? And then you progress to the next body. So at the end of every body, you are going to have an assessment. Now this um, this course is going to be a very tasky one. All right, when I make task you on, you guys will be working from the first day to the last day. Uh, so you guys will be understanding the whole concept of data analysis. I am not, I'm not a data analyst, right? So I will not be able to give you all the right steps. Please, if you're just joining us, please mute your mic. Okay. So I may not be giving you, I may not give you all the data analysis terms, but what I know for sure from the previous batches is that the course is going to take you guys on a journey. Most of you are just coming in. For the first time to data analysis so it's just a journey we're trying to take you guys to um i believe most of you are interested in going through that journey so after the assessment yeah we're going to be taking you guys um um we're going to be i've been showing you guys how to go through your your projects all right before i come down to the certifications now every one of you will be grouped into different clusters now that cluster is more like 
you all will be given the projects even before the program the program kicks off. Now that pro that project we are giving to you is something that you all would now envision what you want to do as a data analyst, all right? So we are actually opening that project selection for you so that you have a picture of what you are going to do at the end of this particular piece or at, at the end of this particular program, all right? So why you have that clear picture of what you want to do or what you want to analyze or your project, why you're learning, you're thinking and streamlining your thoughts and your research based on this particular project that you, you're doing or you want to do. So if at towards the end of the of the of the course, we would ask you guys to submit your project topics, right? Because we are only giving you some more like a guide. So we just got some project topic guides for you guys to select or choose from. And then once you're learning, of course, before you even get to the project, uh, to the time for projects, you will definitely have a lot of ideas on what, how to go around the project, right? On what you need to do. So even if you want to change your project topic, it's still allowed, right? So all of that is still allowed. So what we're going to be looking out for is that we're going to expose you guys to those projects and we're going to create a cluster. When I mean a cluster, we are some, most of us here are on the Slack channel, right? So we all are on the Slack channel. If you're not on the Slack channel, we will send you a mail for you to also join that Slack channel, okay? So if you're not on the Slack channel, I would advise that you all join that Slack channel. Now, the reason why I would advise you to join the Slack channel is that Slack, the Slack is actually our first, is the first place we even drop information. Yes, we will send you emails, we might send you text messages or call you, but the Slack is the, is the, is the most fun um, channel we use in making our conversation, sending our message. And the reason why we are actually using Slack is because of the data analysis is majorly tech related, right? So it's tech related, and most of these tech companies or people or, can you guys hear me very well yes i can hear you yes i can hear you okay. I can hear you. Can hear you. all right thank you very much so the reason why we chose the uh, we chose the slack community for you guys is because we want to expose you all to what is happening in the tech right some of you may have heard about slack the first time i sent you that video or as you heard about Slack, the first time that we uh, we sent that mail to you. Now, when you when we introduce you to Slack, is because we know that after this particular phase, you will be having lots of offers. You will be having lots of um, remote jobs, right? And um, most of these tech companies, what they use in their communication, is majorly Slack. So we're trying to expose you all to the Slack community, right? And then that's why we ask you guys to join Slack. So if you've not joined the Slack community, please, I will send you a mail later today, um, or probably by Monday, with the, with the video, the particular video copy. And of course, uh, the step on how to assess the course will also be sent to you. Now, once you have that, please join the Slack, because that's where we'll be dropping information. The, your instructor will also be added to the Slack channel. So that's how you promote your day-to-day -day interaction. So in this, in this situation whereby we don't have the live session for us, like just like this, we are asking ourselves questions. We don't have that in the platform because we are trying to mitigate um, the flow. So we will use our Slack channel as our day-to-day -day conversation. Yourself, you can discuss amongst yourself. You can uh, share ideas amongst yourself. Those of you that have issues before the instructor uh, comes to respond to your questions, you can drop it in the Slack channel in any of the channels there you drop it there and some of your colleagues here some of them here yeah, actually those data analysis some of them actually know spikes or some of them they actually be fast in learning they would also be able to respond to you so that's actually will also be another medium for us to have that peer-to-peer -peer conversation interaction or collaboration right we are going to be trying to promote all of that so that you all can be on the right path so that is why we are actually giving you guys to come to the slide and we don't want to we did also choose whatsapp i can't hear you again please can't hear you, can't hear you. yes please mr oh. velvet we can't hear you yeah i noticed just i i noticed just now can you hear me now 
Yes, we can hear you now. Yes, we can, can hear you. Hear you. Yes, we can hear you now. All right, sorry about that. It's training here, and I think network is is is, is fluctuating. So that you can see, this is just a case study of the reason why we did not choose live session for our class for our courses because of this. All right. So um, I don't know where you where you, where you guys um, stop serving. So I presume it's when I'm talking about the peer to peer uh, collaboration amongst ourselves. Which is what we are uh, we are uh, promoting, and then we do not include WhatsApp as a default um, choice of communication because of the fact that we don't want a situation whereby somebody will spam you with calls or chat get your access to your phone number and start. We don't know who and who is on this particular space, right? so we try to make it as as professional as possible, bringing you guys to the Slack community, and of course, it's the best community when it comes to uh, tech. Um, business where we are working with um, remote companies, right, overseas, even in Nigeria, where they all use the Slack. Now, when it comes to this particular um, um, course, we have other things that we are going to be bringing up to you, all right? So it's not just about data analysis, right? We would also have what we call um, our project demo day. Now, the project demo day has to do with you defending your projects. Okay, when I mean defending your project, we're going to be showing you how to defend your project. Most of you uh, know that when it comes to data analysis, it's not, it's not just about analyzing your data or looking, searching for data, cleaning data, uh, exploration of the data, and all of that. It's not just about having the knowledge. Most of the data analysts, when you work with the company, they will give you guys thousands and millions of data. So, when they give you that thousands and millions of data, you're going to do some cleaning, you're going to do some, some different data analysis um, to um, um, uh, process. Now, when you're done with your cleaning of your data, you're going to solve a problem, you're going to predict or give them a, a, solve a problem for them. For example, they might ask you, okay, I want, we want to know if we should uh, make Coca-Cola, we should stop um, producing the bottle and focus on plastic. So, they might say, okay, they, they might invite you as a data analyst, or maybe you are working with them, for example, and they give you, okay, they want to make a decision on that. How do we go around it? They now give you their data, all the millions of data that they have in Nigeria, for example, and then they ask you to make, give them a, a, a prediction and then give them your analysis and see how they can uh, make their decision. So you now do all the analysis, you have the, the, the information on the data for the people that are using Botsu. People that are using the plastic, and then you start analyzing clearly repeated data on every other thing. Now, once you're done doing your analysis, then the next thing you need to do is to now present that your findings and your you now advise them on the decision they need to make because of your data. All right, because companies actually need that data to make a decision or to do something new. Now, once you do that, they want to see you present your data that you've, or your analysis that you've done in a, in a well organized manner so that when somebody goes through it, they will be able to understand what you've done. So you're going to be presenting your data in different slides. So we're going to be showing you guys how to actually put your, 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 your research or your analysis in slides. So we will be introducing you guys to a, a text to Canva. So I think they don't know how to use that Canva manager, that Canva tool, but that's what we're going to be showing you how to do, create your slides, your presentation slide with Canva. So we may also be good with uh, with uh, with PowerPoints, which of course is still fine. But we are actually going to be showing you Canva because of course it's a tech tool and it's even more easier compared to the uh, PowerPoints. It's seamless and it is easy for you to export your uh, your your presentation in PDF format and all of that. So when it's time. After you're done with your own course curriculum, we will then start putting you guys into the next phase of the end of the course, where we will teach you guys how to do your presentation. We will teach you how to make your presentation on your on your PowerPoint on your Canva tool. So that's going to give you guys an eye opener on, on how to use Canva for your design for your presentation. Also, we would also be looking at um, your LinkedIn profile, okay? Because when a, an employer comes to ask for data analysts, and then they say most of them are found on LinkedIn. So if you don't have an account on LinkedIn, 
I would advise that you create and set up your accounts today on LinkedIn because that is the platform where every employer, every company, top companies are actually there. And that is where that is where they actually go to validate who they are employing each of their each of their, uh, their company or their team. So we would also be looking at that to make sure that your LinkedIn is a complete portfolio for you. When I mean portfolio, when somebody comes to your profile on LinkedIn, they want to see that this person that they want to employ or to contract to do their analysis for them is actually the right fit for that particular job or for that particular opening. So they want to check. And if your LinkedIn, they go to your LinkedIn, and your LinkedIn is not that convincing because you are posting about social media, you are posting about politics, you are posting about different things, they may feel skeptical about it. But when they see you post things about data analysis, they see something that relates to what you found out, some of the some of the research you've done, some of the analysis you made, and you put it up over there, if they, they get more convinced that this person is the right person for this job, let me give it to him or her. All right, so that's why we are going to look at your LinkedIn profile and see things and then, of course, a consultant will be the one to go through it and then check it out and see what you need to change. Then we will send you a mail because I do what with feel you need to change and probably give you some references or some, some good um, um, LinkedIn uh, caption or copy that you can use to boost your profile. So we are going to do all of that. So every one of you will be submitting your LinkedIn profile link. So once you do that, we will now start checking it and then get back to you on how to make your update, how to update your LinkedIn profile. We are going to also do all of that with you guys. And then for certification, at the end of this particular course, every one of you will be entitled to certification. All right. So the National Free University will certify you for upon completion to, to validate that, yes, you are now a data analyst with Python. All right. So for people that recognize this, the National Free University, every company in Nigeria understands that, knows that National Free University is a is an accredited accredited institute that offers certification either for short courses or for degree courses. They offer that certification. And most of these companies or businesses accept the National Free University certification. So at the end of this course, you will have your certificates of completion. Then we also have another opening for international certification. So this one is actually optional. And then there is a money added, and there is another attachment of, of, of fee for this because you're going to be taking an international exam before you get that international certification. So this certificate is coming from the certificates. So certificates, they are the ones responsible for. Uh, let me just type it down for you. But so they are the ones responsible for certifying most of these IT skills. AWS, Microsoft Azure, data analysis, these are recognized by the world. So if you have that certification, you can present it to any company, any country in the world. All right. So this particular uh, this particular certification um, exam would also you will also be introduced to have access to it, but you're gonna be paying a certain fee. So for now, independent people pay over a hundred dollars for that exam. But we have a partnership with them, right? And that partnership means that you're going to be paying at, at least 30 to $50, depending on when uh, you all will be taking that particular uh, exam. So we're not telling you guys to pay anybody for that, all right? Because we don't know what the value for their pay. We are going to be paying them in dollars. So we don't know the value of naira to dollars. As of that time, when you want to take the exam. So until after your certificate exam, that is great. You all do not. Uh, be open to take that uh, international exam. And for those of you that would take that international exam, when you apply for that, we will submit you to some level of clearance just because for that for that particular exam. Because if you take that exam and you fail it, you have to take that exam again and you have to pay the same money again. So we don't want you all to do that one take that certificate exam without we not practice enough and then go take the exam and then maybe don't put up their yeah, cutoff points. Then you have to be attentive. So we don't want that. So we will subject you guys to some series of training. We will release some materials to you for you guys to uh, to to plan or uh, prepare for that particular exam. But I know that uh, the password is high. 
if you go through our courses and everything, of course, it's going to be a work unit for you. All right. So thank you, you guys will be open for that international certification. All right. Then, lastly, for the internship opportunities, right? So we have companies that are currently looking out for uh, data analysts to join their team. Okay. Now, this is optional for the companies. So what we do is that every one of you we will go through your courses, your course curriculum uh, for three for three months. So we have five modules. Each of this module lasts for two weeks. So that two weeks lasts for ten weeks. You are learning. Then you also have your assessments. You also have your live session, and then you will start your projects. So some of you, your project may take more than one month, depending on what you are trying to set or what you are trying to get. Right. So your project may take a lot of time for you. So we don't have a, a margin, but we know that at the end of your three months, if your project is ready, you will all be submitted to your certificate exam. You, are, you will be submitted to your work exam. And then, of course, some other few uh, activities that will go on for the end of the program for that particular time. All right. So after that, you will not start, you will not start sending your projects. Once you're done with your project, you will send it to us. And then some of you, that want to do your project in defense, you, you would you would apply to uh, defend your projects. And once you do that, we send your projects, um, your slides, as is a PDF that you, you sent to us. We send them to these companies, companies. Now, when we send them to these companies, what they do, they will not go through it and see, okay, I want, I've, I've seen some of them that are actually capt um, captivated for me. I may want to invite them for, uh, for more like a, a personality assessment. So they may call you and um, give you that personality assessment to know who you are because no company would want to release their information with you without doing due diligence. Okay, so data is live and they don't want to release data to just anybody. So they may subject you to some series of um, in, um, some assessment, personality assessment, and any kind of assessment just to get you signed up working with them, either as an intern or as a staff. All right, so that opportunity is there. But it depends on how fast and how good you are in analyzing your data, and of course, how good you are in presenting your findings from the data that you've actually have analyzed. All right, so all of that is possible. And we're going to even the National Pro University will also be looking at for some of you guys to also work with them to analyze some of their data. All right, so basically, these are the things that you guys should know about the course. The course is a 12 weeks course. So when I say 12 weeks, we have five modules course. These five modules, each of them will last for two weeks. So you have 10 weeks of intensive learning. So you have 10 weeks of intensive learning. Then you start doing working on your project and open a um, room for your exam and all of that, which afterward you will not be um, satisfied upon completion of the course. Then in terms of the in terms of the price uh, or what to pay. So every one of you in this particular uh in this particular batch. Is actually lucky because everyone of you here is paying the subsidized amount, right? So nobody is paying, nobody is paying more than that. So the previous time we had some tiers, some of are paying twenty thousand, people are paying fifty thousand, the persons are paying less, people are paying more. Uh, then you have your different, um, you have your different both tiers of payments plan and all of that. But this time around, what you guys are paying is just twenty thousand there. All right for the course. So you all have to pay the two thousand or at least a pass, which is ten thousand before you join the course. All right, the course starts on Monday, and only those of you that have actually paid your first payment or your first initial payment will be added to that particular course on Monday. But so I presume that most of you have actually made that particular payment. But if you don't have, if you haven't made that payment, you still have the opportunity to pay the payment for now till the first end of first module. So you have your two weeks to keep making your payments, and whenever you make your payments, you will be added to you will be added to these um, to the to the course for you to start having access to the to the course modules. So the good thing is that it's not about the timing. The course are always available for you all. All right. So even if you join it maybe five days before the end of the first module, you can still follow up because it's just the videos you're going to watch. All you just need to do is just, just dedicate some hours of your time to go through the videos and then, of course, do all the um, all the labs that, that have been come for you. But the lab session, lab session has to do with practicals, right? While you're learning, 
you guys will also be having your lab session where you will do your practicals, checking and cleaning and colonizing your data. All right. So that time you will be, you will have access to before you make your payment. That's when you make your payments now. So basically, these are the few things that you all need to know about the course and uh, how the course is going to be. So uh, we would also be having some classes, um, probably in, while we are having our live session, we will also be having some professionals that will also join us for them to also, uh, so, some of the previous students also give you guys some guide and tell you all what you need to do about the data analysis and how the analysis and the world of analytics, how they are, and what people are looking out for when they are actually uh, contacting you to uh, to learn or for you to come and uh, share or analyze data for them. So we will invite some of these professionals to come in to probably um, give you some tips and guides on, on how to move as data analysts. Right? So basically, these are some of the features that you all need to go around and then of course it's time for questions. So many of you, your hands are up. I believe it's because of that question. So I'll start from Abdul, Abdullahi, Abdulaman. My hand is up. So if you have questions, just uh, raise your hand and then I will call you for you to, uh, once I call you, just produce your mic and then ask your question. Okay, so Abdulaman, you can go ahead with your question. Okay, um, I'm just about if you're not asking, um, widgets, buffet, you can reach the left and ask a question. Can you guys hear me? Yes, 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 we can hear you. All right, so. Mujahid who say the same. Can you reach a mic and uh, ask question? Ask okay. question. Hello, Mr. Velvet, can you hear me? Very well. Yeah. Very well. Right. Yes, my question is since the program will be starting on Monday, that is on 22nd. Is it 24th? 24th, mm -hmm. right. So, yeah. yes, so, and I haven't made my payment yet. So, I don't know. They said the deadline for the payment is 4th August. So, can I join the session before the deadline? Mm -hmm. Even though yes, I didn't make my, yes. payment, my, my, my payment, okay, okay, because okay. I'm, I'm hoping that I'm hoping that maybe next week I will pay my first my the first ten thousand, and then before the fourth August I will pay the remaining ten thousand. So I don't know whether I can be able to join the session on Monday before making the payment. Okay, so, okay, so you, can, you, you can, can make the you can make the payment. Which of my which of my Okay, so you can make the first payments. payments, 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 payments or you are required to make the first payment before you join the course, all right? And then when you make your first payment, that first payment can be for one month, all right? You can make it more like you're paying two, the twice in under two months, all right? So you can make your first payment before you are required to make your payment before you join the course. So we may not be able to add you up, add you up to the course, to the course. I, do, you, do you get my question? That is not Please what I mean. Hello? I, what ahead. I mean is that since the session is starting on Monday, Mm. Yes. So I don't know. So I don't know. Can't I join the session until I make the payment between today and tomorrow, or I can still join the session on Monday uh, so that I can make the payment before that for August? That 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 must that's my question. Okay. So if you can make your payments now before the twenty fourth, your first payment is fine. All right. You can make your payments now until um, before the first of twenty fourth of July. Then once you do that, we add you up to the cost on Monday. So even if you pay it on Monday or anytime after Monday, you can still make your payments, right? But you will not be added to the course unless you make your payments. Do you get? And then after you make your payment, then you cannot pay the balance to do whenever you want. Maybe within the the month of August, you cannot make your balance of ten thousand naira. So if you have the ten thousand naira to pay now, it's fine. Pay it today, tomorrow, or anytime. But whenever you make your payments. That is where you will be added into the cost. All okay, that, all that, all that. Uh, thank you very much. I understand. I understand. All right. Um, David Tope, you can go ahead. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I have two questions, please. please the first question is um, because that analysis, according to what you said, you know, it's a tech skill. Um, is it possible for us, those of us that do not have um, system, 
to carry on with the with the with the course are we going to be able to meet up with some of the things that they are going to be doing at the course that's one uh, and then um, the second um, question is if by paraventure we are unable to meet up with payment according to the question that uh, uh, that my brother just asked just now um is there a way that we could still be able to meet up with the scholarship in the next maybe the next phase of the scholarship can we meet up with it can we be enrolled uh, those are the two questions okay thank you very much uh, so the first question right is if you have a mobile phone you can access the course you can learn with your mobile phone as well okay. as you can analyze with your mobile phone but the express is not cool right the, the the jupiter lab the psychic lab those things that you're used to that you would be using also have um the mobile version but the express is not cool you will not do your work um efficiently compared to when you're using the laptop um the course is what the course we taught using a laptop all right because we feel as a data analyst when you want to analyze the data you have chunks of data for you to know exactly what you require to use um we will be required to use your laptop all right and then the tool you are using the python works efficiently when you're using your laptop because of the interface of when you're doing your running down your code you know all of that all right it's yeah. it is important that you make use of your laptop but you can learn the course with your mobile phone. But when it's time for practice and in the lab, then you will start to get your laptop, either your friend's laptop or yours or somebody's laptop just for practice. See. Right. Then for the second one, if you don't meet up with the um, with the payments for this particular one, and then you feel like okay, you want to join the next module, yes, you can do that. All right. Every new every new sorry, you need next batch. Yes, you can do that. Every new batch will bring up those confessions. But I'm not guaranteeing that you have this automatic scholarship for that next batch. Mm -hmm. For this particular one, there was an opportunity for every one of you to come in to have the scholarship exam. So for that particular one, there might be scholarship exam and you have to take that exam in order for you to pay this amount or else you're going to pay in 50,000 or some 5,000 around your pay to spend your All right, so that's so I can't guarantee. But if, for example, you have the motive of joining this particular module, this particular uh, course, maybe you don't have the money right now, the videos are actually um, recorded. So even if you join after the first module, maybe within the second module, you maybe get your first 10,000 that you sent. You can still join the course because contents are there. So you're not going to miss out on anything. The only thing that you may not really get is you may not be present on, on the live session although the live sessions will be recorded so you will still have it you will still have the video of the live session too so it means that you are not going to miss out on anything even after you maybe you don't join the course from now till the first end of first module and then you come in the second module then the second module you still have access to all the content for the first module so you can keep watching there it's self-paced all you just need to do is to dedicate your time to go through those uh, course, course contents there, and then you keep going, then you watch the live session, and then you move on. All right, all of that uh, is still possible. So um, plan yourself to see if you can continue with this one, or you wait for the next um, the next one. So everybody that does not meet up this one will still be invited to take that um, scholarship exam to join the next uh, the next one, right? Oh, all right, thank you. Person. Yeah, yeah, you do. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, Lawal, Umar, Ibrahim. You can meet your mic. Hello, okay. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you go ahead. Oh, good morning, sir. Yes, I also want to ask about the scholarship. Yes, I'm going to ask about the scholarship. Can you please switch your mic, please? Okay. Can you hear me, sir? I can hear you. Go ahead. Yes, sir. I said about the scholarship. It's like there is a scholarship for this program. For this particular program, right? For our data analysis yes, course, we usually have scholarship to subsidize the the fee. All right. Because yes, ideally, sir. is 
50,000 uh, to join Anemo for this course, right? Then we give the opportunity to pay instrumentally. So if you are paid instrumentally, if you are paid um, the 50,000 and you want to pay, maybe you didn't take the scholarship exam, you're going to be paying three months, 25,000 naira for the three months. That means you're going to be paying 75,000 naira for the course. That's when you're paid instrumentally. But if you are paid one time, you're paying 50,000 naira for the course. That is when you don't have the scholarship. But when you get yes. the scholarship, you you are paid just 20,000 naira. So we are taking off 80 percent of the the um, the course. So you are paying just 20,000 naira. All right, then you will be required to take an exam. So only when you pass that exam, then you will be given that scholarship. Else, you will pay the fifty thousand dollars as a direct enrollment. For this particular July course, July slash August course, nobody took exam. Everybody had the scholarship. So it's a one-time thing. All right. So this particular one is like a one-time thing, and then you are not even paying for uh, on a normal. Even if you have a scholarship and you want to pay instrumentally. You will be pay, you will be paying thirty thousand because you will pay ten thousand naira for three months. So we believe that you will pay ten thousand naira for the first month, ten thousand for the second month, ten thousand for the third month. That is when you're paying instrumentally, right? But when you're paying one time, you're paying twenty thousand. But for this particular cohort, right? We I don't know why it's special, but you all are not taking the exam, and uh, you all are not paying fifty thousand. Every one of you are paying twenty thousand, and even if you're paying instrumentally. You are still paying twenty thousand, so you can pay ten thousand naira this month, and pay ten thousand naira this month, and you are good to go for this particular. Yes, but for the next one, I can't guarantee that. Yes, Thank you very All right. much. All right, you're welcome. Okay, oh, Williams, you can go ahead. Okay. Um. Good morning, Mr. Velvet. So, um, I want to ask a couple of questions. Uh. You've clarified me. I wanted to ask about the payments, but I think I'm clear with the answer you've given so far. So I want to ask, are there apps we are expected to download, like applications we are supposed to download? Then secondly, the practical section, is it going to be a physical um, session or still an online section? Then thirdly, the platform you were talking about, the interaction platform you were talking about, is the link going to be dropped here so we can copy and join or it will be sent to our emails then about the payment which is the last question i have if i make the first installment uh, first installment if i pay the first installment i'm sorry about that so if i make the first payment that is the first ten thousand i can be added to the platform right and how do I now send my proof of payment? When I make payments, who do I send my proof of payment to? Okay, thank you very much. Um, first of all, um, let me start from the first one. I you asked four questions, I think, and we have actually missed out on them. All right, so the first one was um, the application. Will you be yes. where will you get the application? So everything, everything you will need for this course. Is taught in the course. The application you will download, how to download it, how to install it, every of these things will be taught in the course. Ibrahim, um, Ali, you can you please mute your mic? So everything, everything that you would need, all right, to 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 go with this course, how to download the app, how to install the app that you need for the course, you would be taught in the course. We are going to be giving you all the guides you need. You're not going to be doing your thing yourself. No, you will be, everything you will be doing would be will be will be actually be taught step by step, right? So that's one. Then the second one that you talked about the live the particles will it be live or will it be um, physical or maybe to the video? So we have our lab session. The lab session gives you more like a recorded screen. We are showing you step by step how to go around it. So uh, we have some, some of the lab session had more than four different parts. All right, we are taking it from one place to the next place and all of that. So the videos will be done for you. You already have the applications to use for the for your analysis. So when you are cleaning your data, you will learn how to clean your data. You will also be giving 
the data, the data sets to also work with. You will be given the link to download the data sets to work with for the start. All right, so that you don't have to start looking for where to get data. No, you will be given the data set from the start. So you can use that to do all your practice and fact and analysis while you're learning. So you will have all the guide. The videos will be there for you to watch. But then we will still have our live sessions at the end of every module. So what the instructor will do, the instructor will do exactly what he has done on the lab sessions and replicate them for those of you that may have been having one or two issues while watching the video. So this time you're going to be having that physical um, class that you're talking about to understand how to go about the um, that particular practical. So you'll be having another live session, session for that. Now, third question you asked, I believe, is about the the Slack community, how to join the Slack community. Yeah, so we would send that as a mail to you. And I think I'm, I'm going to drop it as a message in this link. So you can just click on it and then do go access and then log in, all right, and access the Slack um, community. So that will be good for you. And also, it will also be added to your mail, all right, the mail that will be sent to you guys. Um, for um by monday we'll send the link for you to to know how to join the course how to assess the course so we'll send to i'm dropping the link for those of you that have not joined the slack channel can click on this link to join that slack channel right and then uh, but for now um i wouldn't i wouldn't say you should do it now so that you don't go out of this call or this concentration so just it's going to be here and i will drop it before i end the call all right so you can have access to it so um we will drop this and give you guys how to assess okay, the so, um, the last one. The payments. Who you send um, the payments to? Mr. Varvet. Yeah, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Please go ahead. So I said the last one, you didn't attend to it. Yeah, I want to, I want to do that. The last question on payments. I yeah, was I asking, do how do I... Okay, so I'm, I believe I believe you should have gotten the procedures on how to make your payments. But if you've not gotten the procedures on, on how to make I your payments, have. all right, if you've not gotten that procedure, let me drop my let me put up my contacts for you guys here yeah? so that you guys can chat me up privately on WhatsApp in case you have any difficulties, right? So you guys can chat me up. So I'm dropping the number here on on this call here yeah? so that's Everyone of you would have access to um, to call me. I'm, I'm handy, but I'm very busy. But I can just chat me up. If I'm not responsive on Slack, you chat me up on WhatsApp. I will respond to you. So if you can't access the um the any of the things that we do for you, if you can't access the Slack or anything, or you have difficulty, just chat me up. So Hannah, um, so I have hope. If you if you yeah. um, hello, sorry, I have a question as well. I raised my know. hand, uh, but, but I'm not called upon. No problem. I will call everybody. Everyone. All right. Okay. Okay. Please put your mic. Thank you. So, uh, the mail for how to make payment has been sent. Maybe you've not seen it. It could have been sent to you, but maybe it's in your spam folder. So, you can check your spam folder or your inbox. If you don't see that particular mail on how to make the payment, you can reach out to me. I will send you the mail. And then you would know how to make the payment. And when you make the payment, you will send the receipts to that same email to the ASTEL short courses at now.edu.ag. You will send your email as a, and your proof of payment to that email so that we will know that okay, you actually made the payment and then we will add you up to the to the course. And if, for example, by Monday you are not added to the course and you have made your payments, my number is here. Chat me up, send me the receipts manually. I will add you myself. All right. Hope that is hope that is fine. Hope. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Um. I hope. Um. Chile. Um. I'm actually going through the the way the hands are up, so I'm actually going through that part. So, um, I'll call you based on what I have there. So, Chile, Chile, please go ahead. All right. Thank you. Uh. My first question is, um, can we know the, the, I mean, the course um, scope for this data analysis, the tools that we are using to learn it? Like, is it, uh, we working with uh, Power BI, the Tubla, the Excel, or the other? What actually we are going to see 
uh, the tools that we are going to use to work with in this. That is the first question. Then the second question, uh, is it just the 20,000 naira that is the payment or is there any other payment like the certification payments, the project payments and any other payments? Uh, then three, uh, the training, concerning the training, are we going to be having often um, live uh, instruction from the trainer or we just have to go and learn on our own and, uh, and uh, come back and do the projects? Then the last one is um, uh, concerning the, the um, what is it called? Sorry, you can just attend to this hour. Okay. Come to us. All right, no problem. I presume you joined us very late. That's what I feel, that you joined us very late, all right? because okay. all of these have actually responded to them. So okay. the course is starts with Python. So the okay. course is data analysis using Python. All right. All right. I will. I will send you guys. I will send. I will drop the the course curriculum on our Slack, so we get to see them. Oh. All right. It's a complete Python, and we'll be using Anaconda. We'll be using Jupyter Lab. We'll be using Scikit Lab. <laughs> These are the tools that we'll be using just to do all our okay. rendering and analysis on with the uh, um, as Python um, data analysis, right? Then right. the second <laughs> question we talked about was live session. Uh, so we're going to be having physical class, live class like this. I don't know if that's the same question you ask, but yes. if you, yeah, for that, the courses are, are more like a pre-recorded um, videos. So you have access to your courses, the self-paced course. We will have live sessions at the end of every two weeks. All right, we have live session like this at the end of every module, but all the videos will be there for you to learn at your time in your own pace. So you may be, you may actually be, um learning you have to do working or in school and then you want to spend your weekends to do your to practice or to learn the course it's fine the videos are already there for you you open your course and you keep learning and everything and all the guides you need is there on the video so you will not have any issues to actually um make it um, to do the to do the course right so that's it then the last question you asked was um i don't know maybe you could um is there any other payments Okay, okay. no, you don't have another payment. Once you pay your 20,000, that's the only payment you're paying for this whole program. All right, until you're being certified, you're not making any other payments again. All right, all right, no problem. The other okay. one, maybe I'll check. Um, okay, all right. So okay. I'm going to, um, all right, thank you. Please, you can reach your mic. Okay, um, Abdurrahman, I'm going, I'm going up again. Abdurrahman, you have a question. Your hands is up. Um, Rudy and Tufiri, you have a question. Your hand is up. Let me know. If your hand is not up, please just um unmute your mic. I say I say unmute your mic. Just stick your hand down. Um, Lawal Umar Ibrahim, if your if your hand is not up, um, take your take your hands down. Chimi, I just responded to you. Please lower your hands. Okay. So if you don't have responded to your question, please lower your hands. Except you have new questions to to ask. All right, so I'm just going down. Um, I just finished talking to Chimi. So Mark Ajayi, I think I have a lot of questions and I, I will have the time to respond. So Mark Ajayi, you can ask a question. Which your mic, please. Thank you very much. I hope you can hear me, sir. Very well, go ahead, please. Okay, uh, well, you've answered my question in part, but I just want to get some things very clear. You said that the modules will begin on monday 24th now yeah. i want to understand what you mean by starting on monday when is the live sessions is it that the video will be recorded and posted then anybody can now pick the videos and and uh, listen to them at their own pace so that's what i want to mean because most of us will be at work from the 24th from the 24th so that's one i just want to get that very clear then you you said the live session should be two weeks from start that means every two two weeks we'll be having a live session then the last one i want to find out is um for me i have made a part payment but i did not receive any confirmation i've sent the receipts to that email but i did not receive any confirmation that my payment had been received and how do i know that um i've been added to the to the to the distance so that's what i want to ask sir okay thank you very much i'm back so um if 
for the course, it's not a it's not a a live session like this. Let me share my screen. Let me just show you guys a sample of how it looks like. All right. So let me know where you can see my screen. Can you guys see my screen? Yes, yes we can. We can. Okay, yes, yes. All right. So this is the platform where you guys will be learning the Istel platform. Every one of you will be added to this platform because it's a private um, platform. You can't just go there and access the courses. Now, when you go there, what you're going to do is to come to my courses because you would have been added to the course. So when you go to my courses, although no course for me yet, right? So once you go to my course, you will see your course listed here, just like the way it is on these cards that we have here. You will see your courses here. So for your, you will see your own like this. You just click on your data analysis course. So once you click on your data analysis course, you will open course. You just click on open, and then you have access to the course. All the course content has been added for you. For the first one, the module one, you will see the course content there. The module two, you will see. You might not see the module two. You will only see the the introduction and how to install your anaconda to the tool for for the, for the course. Then you have to see your module one. And then module one, you get all of these, and then you go to lab. So this is how module two looks like. You have the module two, everything, and then you have your, your lab. You have module three, you go there, you see the app, different kind of lab sessions. So we'll be dropping these courses for you. You will have access to those course. So let me open the course so you will see it, right? Now, um, once it opens for you, you get to view the video. You get to watch everything there. So the introduction, the videos are there for you. Okay. Okay. Just for you. So that way you do all the videos are there for you, and you can you can watch the videos. I know I'm sure you can hear you can hear what I'm saying, right? So this is what you guys will be doing. And then when you are trying to install your you just watch the videos to install the the anaconda everything you will learn all of those things so that's what you guys will be doing the videos will be there and there are places for discussion right there are places for discussion so when you ask a question people would definitely respond to you okay so there are places for discussion right here on this on the course as well as on the slack channel all of that are the, are the places you can you can actually um do all of that all right so the videos are there for you uh, for you to access okay then um if you have made payments and you've not received confirmation don't worry about that as long as you've made payments you will be added to the course all right and i don't know why you've not gotten that confirmation yet but i'm sure they must have um they should have actually um, confirmed it but if they have well, don't worry about it okay and then you will also get a mail every one of you will get the mail on how to access the course but only those that have page would have access to the course, right? So, but everybody will get that made on how to access this course. So don't worry about that. Then for the live session, you will have a live session every every second week. That's the, at the end of every module. Then we would upload those live sessions to the course so that those of you that missed out the live session would also be there and watch it. I don't know if I missed out on any other thing you asked of me. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you very much. All right, you're welcome. Okay, so I call it day, but then you can you can ask a question. Then. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Veve. Thank you for the breakdown. So, and uh, this is what I want to ask for clarity's sake. Yes, since the course is a self-paced course, and we have twelve weeks to round up, so I want to ask: Is it a most like is it is it required of us to finish all the modules at that 12 weeks that we can exceed the 12 weeks in case of you know unforeseen circumstances and all that that, that we you know, want to allow somebody to meet up i'm just you know trying to talk ahead so i want to know that is is, is there any stuff that can make it extend beyond that 12 weeks that's my question thank you okay thank you very much i actually missed that now every one of you would have access to this course for one year all right so even if you finish your three month course and you still have access to the course for feedback for follow-up or to refresh your memory for one year okay so 
um, accommodated by the you have access to the course even after the 12 weeks. You have access to the course for one year for 12 months. All right. Oh, that's clear. Yeah, that's clear. Thank you so much. All right, you're welcome. Okay. So, Heath, I think you, you can go ahead with your question. Okay. Uh, good day, everyone. Uh, can you tell him? Yeah, please go ahead. I can read it. Okay, good day, everyone. Um, first, I want to appreciate the time and effort you're giving us. Um, I think last year I I took a scholarship exam, but along the way uh, I couldn't finish up. Well, although I knew I knew, um, uh, I made some past payments due to some reasons I couldn't finish up with the program. So I need to appreciate the opportunity you guys gave me this time. To be able to finish it for the first day. Um, I've made I'm, kind of, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of losing you because your voice is cracking somehow. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, I can. I can hear you. Are you, are you making use of the earpiece? Yes, I can. Can you please take off the earpiece? Okay, I should take, uh, it, off. You, take it off. I'll take it off. Ask the question, then put it on. Uh, okay. I didn't get that. Take off the earpiece first, ask a question, okay. then put it on. Okay, okay. How about now? Go ahead. Let me hear. Okay. Um actually, um every question that um, I want to ask some of my colleagues here or my future colleagues here have asked most clarifications I'd like to they've done that already. Okay. I just have one question which is I actually use a map. So all tools will be working with does Max support them? Yes, they do. They do. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. So just to have all all um just just to know what we get to meet along the line. That's that's what I'm asking. Okay, thank you. The, okay. Yeah, that's what you your MacBook it supports. It supports MacBook, supports iOS, and um, it supports um, iOS including your, for your smartphone. It supports Windows, all right, and Android for your smartphone, the two that you would be using. So every of these things you will see the guide on how to go around it, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. Um, so Osakwe, um, Joel, you can reach your mic. Okay. If you're not the diary maps, you can reach a mic and ask a question. Can you can you guys hear me, Dari? Okay. Amaka 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 You can reach a mic. Can we watch the piece? Amaka Iki, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Hello, sir. Sir, can I can I go ahead with my question? Please go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, what what happened is that I have actually paid, so I I have not gotten a link to join probably the class. The link you mentioned one, then number two, what kind of uh, laptop? What is the specification of the configuration of laptop that we can use? Can we use Intel Celeron, three hundred and fifty gig? Okay, all right. Although, although I'm not sure, data analysis, um, analysis and um, instructor, but I think I can, I have an idea of what you can kind of specification of a laptop. All right, the ones you just said now, what makes a laptop efficient, right, is the processor, the RAM, not necessarily the, the, size the RAM is the, the RAM side. is, uh, I think, uh, four gig, and you're good to go. But just oh, that, of course, you know that, you know that the speed, you know that the speed may not be as fast as those that are using um, Core i5 or Core i7 or Core i3, right? Okay. Using your Intel, so it's more like a dual core. Okay, okay invariably, so, what you are saying is, Celeron can, can work, work, but yeah. uh, all these uh, core, fast. core yes. i2, Core i5, they can work better. Yeah, but I think what, what you need to do is just increase your RAM size. You must just increase your RAM to 8 gig and see 
Thank, thank you. Yeah. All right, sir. So then for the link, for thank the you. course link, I don't know if you were with us from the beginning. We've not sent the app to join the course yet. We'll send it to okay. you as a mail on Monday. You'll get the access. Okay. And and the the modes of uh, delivering of uh, instruction. You said why well, I have I, I jumped since the beginning. You said the mode of delivery will be one via video. Then we're going to be having um, like session that will be online together, live session. Yes. So like when this, is yeah. the live session going to be? Because for the video, I can confidently sit down at home and uh, listen to the video. But for the live session, when, what day, of, what days of the week? So the live session time. is always is always at, at the end of your mode. So at the every two, every two Saturdays, all right, it's always weekends okay. like this. Okay. So you have that live session, but it's at the end of every mode. At the end of every two weeks, you would definitely have. And of course, we will send you a mail to that effect. You will get the info. okay. We will we'll, we'll be informed, Dabi. Yes, okay. We'll be informed. Okay, both via mail and through your, your slash. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, um, Amaka Ike, are you, are you ready to ask your question? If you are not asking questions, please lower your hand. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I was trying to speak the other time. I didn't know I was too muted. So my question was basically the same question the last person asked because I've made the payment too. So I haven't gotten like anything about the cost module or subs like that, but I think you've responded to that. Thank you. All right, so welcome. Emeka Zero, you can go ahead with your question, please. Hi, good morning. So my question is about um I've also made the payment and I've also shared the receipt on your WhatsApp. Um so um for some of us that are around the Open University doing some other physical courses, um, do we have any opportunity of coming to your department and have a one on one if we're around a, um, apart from the online course? Then again, I also was part of the club computing. I don't know if I can link back. Um, I've not gotten any email on how to make payments for it. So, okay, all right, thank you. First of all, um, you can go to the office. Me, I'm currently in Lagos, right? I'm currently in Lagos. But you can go to the office at Abuja. If you're close to the, um, to the Abuja, you can go there and ask, make your inquiries, right? The course is an online course. We don't teach the course at the center there, all right? So you have to you have to learn it online. And I think I omitted this in certification, right? The certificate will be sent to your mail. Every one of you, your certification will be sent to your email at the end of the course. Right, but if you want a hard copy of a certificate, you can request for them to send it to you. But the only thing is that you would um, actually pay for the logistics for them to send that certificate to you. You can request for that, okay? But if you're close to Abuja or you have somebody that can help you get it, you can send it to the to our head office in Abuja there and then you'll get it. All right, so um, I hope I've answered your question, right. Ask about the cloud computing. Um, if okay, I can also you apply. You apply for the cloud computing, right? Yes, okay. I have. Are it. You, you are currently you are currently learning cloud computing, right? No, no. Now? I've not been well, getting update because I've not made payments, so I want to make payment for the cloud computing as well. All right, all right. Uh, just chat. See, just chat me. We will discuss on that. Okay, uh, thank you. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Paul, see, we see that you can omit your mic. And ask a question, please. Oh, Steve, can you hear me? Um, yeah, can you, okay. okay, go ahead. Go ahead, please. Um, my own is pertaining the payment. I don't know. Is the payment still ongoing? Can we still go ahead to pay? Yes, you can. Okay, all right. Uh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kayo, the, 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 the question. Okay, um, good afternoon, Mr. Velvet. I good have basically two questions. Um, the first one is um, you 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 actually answered it, but I think I had network um issues then. So um on um the on the payments, saying that um we'll 
we we have sure. until, um, the first installment until um, 4th of um, August, right? What about the second installment? When is the last um, date? Or is it that all the payments will be done on or before the 4th of August? Or I can make um, part payments, which is 10,000 um, on or before 4th of August, and then balance uh, make the balance payments anytime in August. That's one. Then the second one is, um, I, I was reading through um, the email that, um, sorry, the course when I was registering, that is a self-learning um, um, <clears throat> course. So uh, does it mean that within the 12 weeks, I must have completed um, the course as a whole, or I, um, someone can then extend um, his course beyond um, the 12 weeks? And I'm sorry, and the last one is, um the project now is it going to be a joint because you're saying you're going to add up to a group or something so is it going to be a joint project or is an individual project all right thank you very much so for the first question um when you make your payments now you have like one month again to make your second payment so you have okay. to, you have from now to the fourth of august to make your first payments but we will okay. not add to the course only until you make your payments so after okay. you make your payments, then you have another one month to plan to make the next payments. Okay. Yeah, that's one. Then the second one has to do with the um, the cost, the time, the, the duration of the course, right? You, mm -hmm. the course is a self paced course, and you have access to the course for one year. Okay. But this program is for three months. Mm -hmm. Oh no, man. Okay. Then okay. the last question you asked was, well, "Officer, please um, take it again." Have okay. Um, the last question. Um, I was saying on project. Um, okay. is it uh, going to uh, be a, okay. a joint a group project or an individual project? Okay, it's an individual project. So the reason why we are we are clustering you guys, we are adding you guys to create clusters because you guys are you guys share common interests, all right? So you guys can team up, search for things, talk among yourself, and see how to go about the project because you guys are working almost on the same thing or the same direction that's why we are teaming you guys up to have that bond amongst yourself but the project is individual okay and um i have the chance to uh, maybe switch projects before the yes. project yes yes you do at the, at the end of the program you will submit your real project topic all right so you will submit your, your topic that's the one we will work with not the okay. one you did. yeah this is just this particular one is just to give you that concept of what you want to do, like it's just showing you and paying for this. And yeah, so while you're learning, you're picturing what you would be doing. So that's the okay. concept of this first one here. Yeah. All right, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Okay, um, Gasho Modekar, you can ask a question. Okay, hello. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, go thank, you thank you a lot for your guidance. Welcome, I think sir. most of the questions I had wanted to ask has been highlighted by you. Most especially the last the last one as regards the payment. Because I've already made the first payment and I've received my receipt of the payment. I've received uh that's feedback for the, feedback for the payment. Okay. But I wanted to ask whether I can still make the payment at the end of that next month. So, but you've answered that question. Okay, all right, that's fine. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, and also I think uh, uh, what's uh, this program? How I mean, uh, what's the calendar of the program? That's because okay, I want. I, to... I thought I I sent I sent the course program to everyone. Of course, all right. The mail that was sent to you had the course program. If you if you don't yes, have, no, it, I, I mean, send it to you. Okay, then I mean how many times? Call I, mean, I know. I mean the how many times was the program? Because I want to like. Uh, my younger one wants to, that's it for the. Okay, yeah, they want to join this particular one. No, not this, yeah, he, there's one that wants to join, but I don't know whether it's possible. Okay, yes, of course it's possible. Like anybody can join from now till next two weeks, right? Okay. Anybody from can join weeks. now. From now till next two weeks, if they are a new person, they can join, right? None of you have started. So anybody oh. that wants to join, they can still join in right now. Okay, let's just need to apply and then, Get the mail, make the payments, and have access to the course from now. But after how the can, first, okay, but what I'm saying is that how can someone apply now? 
What's the more? Are you on? Of... Are you on the Slack? Are you on the Slack channel? Yes, I'm on the Slack channel. Just, just chat me up privately on Slack. I will send you the link for them to apply. Okay, so it, that there's a window of two to the next two weeks. Yes, yeah, there's a window for them to join this one for the next two weeks. Else, they will have to join the next course. And they ha and they still have that benefit of that paying this twenty thousand. Yes, anybody that joins this set has the benefit of paying the twenty thousand. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so right, much. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You can omit you can meet your mic now. You said okay, okay. Okay, so um Adewale Moses, please go ahead. I don't want to you. Are you with me? Okay, no. I think. And Shade, please go ahead if you have a question. Victor, come and clean this place. Moses, I don't want to Are you with me? Can you go ahead with the question? Oh, Williams. Okay, I think everybody, everybody, Rachel, please go ahead. I have a question, Mr. Velvet. Oh, hope. I saw which is um hope. Go ahead, please. Okay, so um I skipped this question when I was asking the initial ones. Okay. You said something about internship. Yes. You said something about internship. Yes. So I want to get something straight. Um, the institution are the ones who sort out placement for internship, right? And we then, at, at okay, what go ahead. time? Go ahead, please. please I want sir. to know if, if it, the institution that is National Open University are the one who sought out placements for students to, you know, get engaged in this internship program. That is one. And then two, does the internship program come after certification or after your project has been done? Because according to the program calendar I got, Certification comes um, three weeks after project, according to the calendar. I stand to be corrected. So does the internship come after projects or after the certification? The internship comes after projects, right? After projects, because uh, you cannot be certified until you, until you, you do your project. So after the projects, you get certified. That's what the things that we will send to the company so first of all it's not the institution that is responsible for the placements the institution is partnering with Etify as a company so Etify company are the ones who help you get sent those um different companies profiles of people who just finished the course and they are the ones the companies will not be the ones to check through the project that has been done and they say okay i want to call this set of persons to invite them for either online invitation or face free invitation for a, for an opportunity to have that conversation. Or well, not the university, right? It's the Xify as a company as responsible for that. And okay. of course yourself, so, you can still be looking out for, for placements yourself too. Okay, okay. So then about the LinkedIn um link, are we supposed to send it on the Slack um platform or we should send it to you individually? Okay, we'll send you a, we'll send you a, a form to fill to submit that. All right, so you'll okay. get a, you'll get an object like that. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. All right, so welcome. Which your please go ahead. Okay, good afternoon all. What I was trying to ask you just for clarification concerning the course study. So know if the course study we are going to start from basis, since most of us like we are just new to the program. Yes, you will. Just like I said, everything you are going to learn, everything you will be doing, even if you don't have an idea of what it is, you will get to learn them in the course. It's a beginner's course, all right? From beginners to an advanced level. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Um, Daniel, you can go ahead with the question. Yeah, thank you so much. I didn't. I was actually enjoying everything. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Velvet. You've been uh, very good um, anchor moderator. But I just just the just to follow up with the second and last question about the internship. 
Um, me probably, I don't know if you're in the position to, you know, just tell us the kind of likely quest organizations that will be, uh, be requested for internship. I think if, if it's possible to disclose. Thank you. <laughs> okay, like the kind of question they would ask you. No, the uh, sort of organizations which are like Coca Cola, is it MTN, is it just just for us to have a Okay, uh, I won't be able to discuss that today, right? Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? No, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Um the hands are coming up again. Um Osakwe Joel, you can go ahead. Please go ahead, Osaku Joel, if you have a question. Okay, um, Kristen, Tyro, go ahead. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Okay, so um, my question is about the internship that I just talked about now. It's like I didn't really get that part very well. So I want to know about, is it that you are going to send out to organization to go and do our internship or it's going to be online as well so i want to know how it's going to be and the second one is that uh, i was actually trying to make my my installment payments i want to make part of the payments yesterday but it was not going through and when i went to the mail that i sent to us he said alternatively you can transfer the money to one of your agents, which you put the account details of the agents there. But you didn't put their email, the email that I'm going to send to the payment to. So I don't know if there's a way to send that to us. Yeah. Or maybe I'll just try to pass you on that. Okay. And that, all right. So first of all, for the, for the internship, right? The internship can be, um, if you got the opportunities, it can be hybrid. It can be removed but from the fiscal, depending on the company. All right, so if someone will tell you they'll be working from the house, which is remote, some company may say work from the house and then come to the office at some point. That's the hybrid. But some company can tell you come physical. So they may also use your location as a terminal factor to add you up to their, to their um, IT interns. All right. Then the second one for the payment. When you make the payments to either to, to the remittance platform or send it to the confessionary's account, the mail send it to the same case special short process. Send it to the same case special short process as a proof. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Hope you're clear now. Yes. Yes. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Okay. Seems like the questions are coming up again. I thought by now we should have been done with this. Okay, so for those of you, you feel that you are satisfied with, the, um, with everything that was said and you're good to do, I would advise if you want, you can drop. Uh, so only those that have questions um, should maybe keep asking their questions until they are clarified, all right? So I don't want to keep everybody here. I think I've exhausted everything you need to know. And then if you're good, then um, we, can, we can move on, all right? Okay. Um, Okay, um, well, I think you have to see your, your mind is on this, so go ahead. Yes, Flower, okay, sir. Please go ahead. Please okay, go sir. Ahead. I said um, about the payment, when is the final deadline for the payment, even for the installment payment? Yeah, I said 4th of August, okay. which is two weeks from now. So the one has to pay all before 4th of August. No, 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 no. Pay Pay the, the instrumental, anticipate the 10,000 before 4th of August. Okay. After you pay that, then another one month, you can pay the other one. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Joel, I feel you are struggling to talk, or you are struggling to, you can't see anything, you are saying anything. All right. All right, Sibo. Okay, sorry. Bello, can you please go ahead? Musa Bello, can you go ahead? Okay, um, good afternoon. Sir. Um, you talked about international yeah. examination. I believe some yes. Um, 
Um, Could you please? More. What do you mean? Can we? How, how does it work, sir? Okay. Um. So there are some international bodies yes. that are responsible for certifying experts, IT experts. So the leading is actually the certiport, which is using the PSC um certification. So this body is responsible to test you as an expert to be sure that you are qualified to be called a data analyst. So most of these companies that want to um, employ um, data analysts to their company, both the ones in Nigeria and the ones abroad, they tend to look at this certification from some of these organizations to validate that yes, you are a data analyst. So these organizations set up exams at different times. They have some vouchers that they will give for people that are interested to take that exam. Just like you have the IELTS kind of exam. You take the exam at a particular time, once you're good, you get certified, then you can now show that you are IELTS um, certified. So that's the same thing. People will request for your certification. And when you send these um, certificate certificates, that is acceptable by most of the top companies you're seeing around the world. All right, so these are the companies that are responsible to certify you. So you take those exams, you write the exam. Once you pass, you're certified. If you don't pass, you have to attempt that exam again. As a, at another time. So that is why we are seeking to give you guys some resources to learn for to prepare for that exam so that you don't go take that exam and then don't do it. So you plan for that exam and then you take the exam. But you are paying for that exam. All right. So not paying the national university to take that exam. You are paying directly to the company. But it's just that uh we have a relationship with them. So it's not easy for you to pay the over a hundred dollars for that exam, you only pay thirty dollars. But I don't know how much it would be as of that time when you are taking the exam. Yes. All right. Um, yeah, Adewale Emmanuel, can go ahead, please. All right, thank you. Please, uh, I would like please to have uh, yeah, uh, turning these. Hello? Yeah, I'm going to be quiet. Before you leave that access, All right. the international oh, application. Um, sorry, sorry, who is talking? Uh, it's Dariba. That's the exact question I wanted to have concerning the international certification. How do we make our interest known? But after the after the course, right? After this particular course, you will be notified okay. when the it's open for us to start applying. Mm -hmm. We are still on the Slack right. channel. We will inform everyone of you. That's all right. Thanks. All, all right. right. Can I go ahead? Mother, please go ahead. All right. Thank you. Please, I would like to ask: um, Is it possible for us to get the curriculum for the data analysis program, uh, and also to know, okay, the tools that will be used during the training? Thank you. I I figured you just joined the meeting not long ago, so all of that has been has been discussed in this meeting. So um, actually, it's data analysis with Python, right? So there are a lot of tools with, with the Python. We have the Anaconda, we have the Jupyter, we have the Psychics Lab. We have so many tools that you're going to be using in this course. So every of the phases of the module, you will be introduced to the new tool that you will be using. At first, you will start with the Jupyter, the Anaconda, then you start moving from one phase to the other. So all the tools you will learn there in the course. And all, all of you would master that those tools while you practice the course based on data analysis and um, um, concepts. All right. So that's it. And then, of course, you will get the curriculum. I will, I will drop it on your Slack channel after this meeting so you guys can have access to it. Okay. All right. Um, Joel, I, if I've answered your question, please lower your hands. If I've answered your question, all right? Please lower your hands. So, Joel, you have a question. Please go ahead. Joel, I can't hear you. I want to get you more time. Can you guys hear me? Can you just drop a question on the on the comment section? Let me respond to it. Okay, guys. So um Steven, you have a question, go ahead, please. Steven, can you hear Hello, me? Robert. Yeah, 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 I can hear you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. 
All right, then my question has to do with the the applications that will be used. Like me now, I don't have a personal laptop, but I have um, a company laptop that I'm using. And you know, most companies don't give those privileges and uh, access to be able to install. So how do I go about that? Okay. Um, I think there's a there's an online environment you can do your practice. All right. Okay. So you must not do you must not install it. The only reason why you install it is because of you want to always come back to access this your file and you see that everything there. Okay. But I think okay. there's um there's an online um um workspace Some... that you can use for your analysis. Okay. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. Thank you for that clarification. All right, so you're welcome, sir. All right, guys, I think um I think we've spent so much time. Um let me go through some of the messages that you guys have asked. So if I can see let me see if I, I think I've answered most of the questions here. I've, I've seen most of the questions here. Um can you please hold us to the five models for us? I would love that for you guys to see on the as in can you please one us through the five modules of the course? I will drop it for you guys to see on your Slack channel after this call. Okay, set it for um, okay. Thank you, Kaya for responding. For the company that is in charge of the certificate, the international certification exam, set it for Um, okay, payment methods. Thank you for that. I want more clarification for this course. Is the data analysis with that with Anaconda or data analysis with Excel? It's data analysis with Anaconda, not Excel. So Anaconda is is a Jupyter, is a is a Python language, right? So the Anaconda is more like the environment where you run your Python code for the analysis. Okay, so you're not using Excel. Excel is not the <clears throat> it's not a standard. It's good, all right, but it's not the standard um, when it comes to Python. Python is the most efficient data analysis tool that uh, anyone can use, and it's, it helps you to render and uh, then analyze analyze your data in faster, have more features in terms of visualization and every other thing. All right, so that's why we're using the Python. Okay, uh, I hope that answers your question. Joel, my question is: Can we use online Python? Yes, yes, yes. You can, you can, right? Yes, you can. That is the environment to do it. I think you will get to, you will get to. Um, the instructor wasn't able to join this meeting. He would have been able to answer some of these questions for you guys, all right? But um, it will, I will, it will be added to your Slack channel today, and you guys can bombard your questions to him. We we've already have um uh, this particular uh, meeting. Or oh, I would suggest that we wait till Monday when you have access to the course. You watch the videos and see where you need problem but i'm i'm sure that every one of you would not really have so much um questions to ask because everything would be um simple uh, would be simple okay can we join the class on monday without payments no you can't please um, i'm in favor you can't you need to make payment before at least the initial payments before you join the course all right so we don't want to take anybody out of the course everybody should have those that would have access should have access to the course all right, so I think that's it, guys. I think will be Bamboo. Bamboo, can you ask a question? Um, good morning, sir. Good morning, everybody. So I joined this question I wanted to ask is regarding the payment. I'm trying to make payment now. There's okay. a place they are asking of um, GIS MIS code. I don't know. Just add zero 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 zero. Are you are you going through the payment method? Yeah, I think I that, saw was, it, that, was, that was that was also added the yes in the mail. When you have a GIF MIS, we just add yes. zero in zero in four places. All right, just want to contact you before I go. Yeah, just add zero in four places. Okay. All right. So guys, thanks a lot, everyone of you. Uh, this is a record, and I'll be sharing this record to everyone for reference purpose. You can also share with your friends, but those who want to still join this course. From now to the 4th of August, we have the opportunity to still join the course. So if you have some of your colleagues and friends that feel 
they want to still join this course at this um, subsidized um, manner, please get to them, all right? Let them join the course, all right? So that they can become data analysts in the future. But for the next one, I can't guarantee the, the nature. We, may, we are going to come back, definitely we will go back to our scholarship exam and all the different multi tiers payment um, plan that we do. All right, so this particular one is just an opportunity. Um, uh, that was why I had to invite most of you to take this opportunity to join this course. All right, well done, everyone. Of you. Thanks for joining the meeting. I appreciate your time, and I believe that this course is going to be an amazing one for you guys. And I wish you all the best. See you guys later. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Veras. Bye, yeah. Veras. Bye, Bye, everyone. Thanks a lot, Mr. Veras. Thank you. See you all.